guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the new Hourglass Veil Collection products. They have just expanded their veil line from their best-selling veil primer. The first product is going to be the Hourglass Veil Retouching Fluid. The second is the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. And the third thing is the brush that they recommend to use with it as well. If you guys are new here, hello, my name is Jenna Fraze. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking out this video today. I do two beauty videos a week that are all about high-end and luxury beauty products. So if you are just as into that as I am, I'm sure we'd get along great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well as the little bell right next to it so you can be notified whenever I post a video. And without further ado, let's get on to these reviews. The first product I'm going to review is the Hourglass Veil Retouching Fluid. When it comes to the outer packaging, we have a beautiful frosted glass bottle with hourglass in gold. The cap is also a gorgeous deep purple. And to me, that was a little bit interesting because I kind of figured they were going to package it similarly to the original Veil Mineral Primer, but the cap on the Mineral Veil Primer does lean more towards a charcoal metallic instead of a deep purple like the new releases. This new Hourglass Veil Retouching Fluid is available at Sephora right now and it retails for 34 American dollars or 40 Canadian dollars. Hourglass is marketing this little guy as a sheer coverage oil-free fluid that is supposed to correct some dullness, brighten up the face a little bit, and also retouch some makeup without caking or creasing. When I opened this product, up, the first thing I noticed was its small size. I honestly thought that there wasn't going to be a lot of product in here because as you can see, this is kind of how it measures up to my hand. It's quite a small little container. But when I was using this product, the product that this guy reminded me of was actually the YSL Touche Clot. I'm probably gonna say that wrong because I'm sorry, I'm not French and my French is very poor. But anyway, this is what I'm talking about. This is the Radiance Pen by YSL. Now here's the catch. The YSL is 2.5 milligrams of product and it's 51 Canadian dollars. What that means is that you're actually paying $11 less for the hourglass and getting more product for basically a very similar kind of look. When it comes to the shade range of this little guy, I'm not super impressed with it, to be honest with you. There's only six shades in this, two fair to light shades, three medium shades, and one deep shade. I really hope this turns out to be a success for the brand because I do love the fact that it brightens just ever so naturally and slightly. Like I said, this is not meant to do any heavy concealing. So if that's what you're looking for, I would say go get a full coverage concealer for that kind of work. This is much more meant for a softer look. I also love using this product to kind of freshen up my concealer. This is more so towards the end of the day. I do think this product would be perfect for just freshening up those little bits of areas without adding a whole bunch of layers and therefore leaning more towards cakiness. The next product I'm going to be reviewing is the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. The packaging on this is gorgeous. It follows the same new veil collection theme. This product also has a gorgeous gold sifter, which is really beautiful as well. This powder is available at Sephora right now and it retails for 46 American dollars or 55 Canadian dollars. Hourglass has marketed this guy as an ultra refined powder that is supposed to blur your skin, give you a soft filtered look, make your makeup last all day without any cakiness. It's also supposed to be infused with diamond powder to kind of have that very unique light refraction kind of thing going on which is really cool as well. They also claim the sifter is supposed to dispense just enough product for you not overdoing it and I actually 100% agree with that because this powder is so ultra refined and light you can definitely send this airborne really really quickly if you know what I mean if you're swirling your brush aggressively it's actually going to kind of fly into the air so just make sure that you're going really gentle with your brush you definitely don't need to coat your brush with this stuff a little goes a long way on my normal to oily skin it is such a light coverage powder it sets your makeup beautifully and for me I didn't have to retouch my face at all during the day it didn't crack or fade away whatsoever which is really impressive I always set my face anyways, but it worked beautifully with my Mac Fix Plus. So this guy is definitely going to be staying in my collection. I do think that this is a beautiful product from Hourglass. As for the brush, first of all, I love the fact that this is dual ended. You have the side to set your cheeks and forehead and larger areas of your face. Then you can flip it over and set your under eye with the smaller end. This brush fits inside the gold dispenser beautifully because of course they've created the two to work together. This brush is available at Sephora right now as well. And it does retail for 64 American dollars or 70 78 Canadian dollars. That is the big thing with this guy, guys. The price tag is definitely steep. This product has a wide enough dispenser that you can get another soft bristled brush and work with this beautifully. You certainly don't need this in order to make this look amazing on your skin. However, it is a very nice brush. I do approve it, but I do know that not everybody can justify this price tag and that's totally okay. If I'm nitpicky, the only thing with this that is a little bit annoying to me is the fact that I can't store it vertically upright. Because this is dual ended, I can't do that without squishing one 
one end of it. So that is super annoying to me. I'm gonna have to store it horizontally. I just thought, oh man, I can't actually set this like my other brushes. So it's a tad annoying and just something to keep in mind. <laughs> Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts on the brand new releases from Hourglass's Extended Veil Collection. I've been really enjoying them myself. I do highly recommend that you check them out. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to let me know by giving it a big thumbs up as well as don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And until my next video, guys, take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.